Hello, folks. Better critter. Just sitting here uh, up at the uh, up at the sale, and I was thinking my wife had to go up and take care of some animals and uh, kind of filling in the whole customer service selling thing. Ain't really my forte, but uh, I got to thinking while I was sitting here. Uh, I had a pretty good day so far. Sold a lot of sold a lot of animals. Got rid of a lot of animals, helped some people out. Uh, got about, we only got two little bottle babies, little baby goats left. Uh, sold a couple of them and uh, brought up a whole mess of laying hens. Got rid of that little piglet, found a home. Uh, but you know, folks, I was thinking, uh, if y'all are looking to get into the farming and looking to get into the homestead and everything, uh, I'll tell you what, it'd be a good time to do it. You know, I was thinking this morning, uh, you know, a year ago or so, we'd be, uh, you know, selling a rooster for, I don't know, well, a couple of years ago, five, ten bucks, maybe. You know, I mean, you're looking at 15 bucks rooster, sometimes 20. Uh, laying hens, you know, I mean, you go to a cell barn, after you pay your fees and everything, you're looking at, you know, upwards $25 plus just for one laying hen, which is pretty crazy to me. Um you know, and I just got to thinking there's a lot of ways that you can do a little flea market or farmer's market to kind of meet people and get with your community and maybe get that mag going. Uh, you know, and it's really important, a very important thing for right now. I'll tell you that. Uh, I really feel that way. I don't think this whole thing's going to last that long. I usually don't uh, talk about that. I just think it's pretty rough times and, you know, it'd be a, be a, be a good time to... Uh, to maybe get with your community and do a little farmer's market and you know or even like i make these little walking stick 12 gauge shells i think got a 308 shell up there uh little little walking sticks for the tourists and everything they love them you know put our turkey feathers and bones to use <laughs> you know and i just kind of sand them down and uh put some poly on it and call it good little canes and everything and make a whole bunch of stuff but you know, another thing that you can do, folks, is I was thinking about my wife, like over here, we and we, we sell a lot more than this usually, but uh, there's a big old ginger root right there, sell some sassafras root. Uh, we let some of our plants go to seed, and that way we can go ahead and sell the seeds from our own garden. Uh, and just a lot of little ways that you can, you know, maybe not only get ahead, but at the same time meet people and kind of get that mag formed, hopefully. Uh, it's very important, folks. Uh, and and kind of going back to uh, to the livestock thing, I just, you know, if anybody's on the fence right now, you're not sure, uh, you're looking to make that move, make it. You know, take that chance, take that risk, and, uh, and do it now. Get yourself that sustainable food source. Um, stacking to the rafters is always good, but at the same time, uh, this is sustainable. You know, uh, get yourself some rabbits, get yourself some chickens. Um, you know, good example. I mean, I was thinking about this, like these laying hens right here, they're laying right in the cage right now. As a matter of fact, just got an egg out. Uh, that is food, you know, and at the same time you can incubate those eggs and you can get more chickens, get more roosters. Uh, this is sustainability. And I don't believe that they, the powers that be will allow us to let that happen much longer. So I guess my point is, you know, what I'm trying to make and what I'm trying to say is it's just so important right now. Uh, get out there, uh, get your gardening on, get your homestead on, get your chickens, get your, you know, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you can manage. Uh, do it now. I can't even stress that enough. I think it's really important. Um, yeah. And, and you know what? I just, I'm praying for everybody and I'm praying for this world and uh, love y'all. And I appreciate all the support. So uh, Bitter Critter out and uh, have a good weekend.